Good morning folks. Welcome back to another video. It's uh I'm I'm a bit late. I was meant to get up for sun, for the sunrise out here, but I couldn't get up. I kept snoozing the alarm. So it's uh it's half six now. It's half six in the morning now. And as you can see it's quite bright now. So, about an extra hour on bed. But, I'm handheld at the moment. As you can see, I do have the tripod on the bag. But, I'm just there for a walk with the camera in hand. And, I want to see what I can find today. I want to go out as far as the beach first. Because there's, um, there's, uh, the tide is out. So we might get some oyster catchers or some um, ring plovers or I don't know what we'll get. But when the tide is out, it's good feeding ground for the birds. So that's the plan. I want to go out as far as the beach here and see can we see anything. I can hear the grey herons, but who knows? And I'm still half asleep here. Yeah, but we'll go down to the beach and we'll see some nice birds if there's any birds down there kind of corrugating on the sand or on the rocks. And then I'm going to make my way around all this long grass because it's great for reed buntings and uh, stone chats. And I've seen a few yellow hammers already walking up this lane. There's a few lovely little yellow hammers. So. We're going to keep walking. We're going to walk. It's a good bit of a walk now to the beach. So I'm just going to make my way. I'm just going to plot it. We want to see can we find something nice to photograph this morning. I'm gonna say walking by. There's quite a few birds flying by here. I don't know if you saw that stuff on the camera, but quite a few terns, oyster catchers. There was a curlew as well. I'll show you really quick actually on the back of the camera. Look. See all the oyster catchers photos aren't the best because it's still quite there's not much light it's such a terrible photo but look at that and you can probably you can probably hear all the turns you can hear me with this wind but there's quite a few birds down at the beach moorings and seagulls oyster catchers now we want to test the behavior now i'm going to walk down and see what they do let's see how they behave so I'm gonna make my way down, just down here. Just down along here. Let's see some birds here in this little pool and up along these rocks. So I'm just gonna walk down this way and see how they behave. I'm gonna get the camera now already. Just check the settings, see everything. See if I can slowly make my way down there step by step see how they behave it only takes one bird to kind of go manic and fly off and then the rest of them will just follow suit 
So, I don't know. Let's give it a go. Everything is covered in sand. I'm covered in sand, the camera's covered in sand, the tripod's covered in sand. So I have to clean it all off when I get home. But oh my god, I want to sit down here for a minute. Oh. Let's have a look at some of these photos. I haven't even had a proper look myself. Oh yeah. Beautiful bird. I've never photographed them before, so I'm absolutely delighted. Now, I probably took, I don't know, probably about five, six hundred. Now I tried to get some nice group photos as well. I don't know how they're going to turn out. I have to. That's actually a nice group one there because you have the main guy in focus. I don't know. I'll play with those group ones on the cat on at home, but ninety-five percent of the time they have their head dug in the sand and they only really come out put their head up to just kind of run these ones in the sand these were the ringed plovers were they yeah so there was ringed plovers as well didn't get close enough as you can see to take any photos ringed plumbers there. I photographed the ring plumbers before so I wasn't too fussed. Yeah these ones here. I really like these ones. He was a good bit away but he was just bare, kind of buried in that sand a bit. And there was one where he kind of looked was my direction.
what a beautiful bird. I've never photographed them before, so I'm absolutely chuffed. But there's some nice ones in there, I know there is. So I'm over the moon. Oh. But I'm gonna call it a day. I had a blast. Um, now, as I said, I'll throw them over on the website shawmephoto.com I'll leave a link in the description of the video to the website if you want to go over and have a gander or on the Instagram I'll throw one or two on the Instagram at Sean Mead Photography I'll leave a link to the Instagram below or well, there's a link on the website either but thanks for watching and sure I'll see you on the next one